All right, hello there. Um, it's time for an anniversary party. Uh, we've come in a bit late. Sorry about that, but it's okay. Uh, apparently everyone's having a good time though. If you're wondering, I turned the music off because like it's just too fucking loud. Anyway, look, we've invited her, Marissa Bendit, and that's that's the sim version of me, obviously, who who lives in the town, and Robin Quick and. Our good friend BJ Ryan is also here. Uh, I believe this will be great. Uh, maybe you should join. Come join. Uh, and you too. Um, so basically, what happened was he needed to have a, a party, an anniversary party, to get that lifetime one. And we've done it. Well, I did. I'm, I'm the best. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we've done it. So great. Uh, it unlocked the thing as soon as I called up, and I was like, ah. Oh, I'll, I'll start recording as soon when the party starts, and then everyone just rocked up. But anyway, I still can't really like remember how the hell uh, you're supposed to have a good party. Part knowledge. No. Um, but we'll try. Uh, it says it's a snoozer, and Michelle is literally snoozing right now. Smart investing has increased your family funds by $133. Well, if that's not cause for a party, then I don't know what is. Um, Apparently how this works is like, I've heard that uh, they need to have lots of good interactions with each other. Um, the party's like nearly halfway done too, so we're not doing too well. But um, yeah, they need to have good interactions and they need to have like lots of fun and eat lots of food or something. I forgot to serve food, I bought them this buffet table. Uh, it's still a snoozer. Can we, can we please make this party like the best? Because there ain't no party like a, a Sims 2 party. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, maybe, maybe you two can have a, have a talk. Maybe you can hug. No, just, just hug. Nothing, a friendly hug. There's nothing sexual about it. It's a friendly hug. Do it. Oh, well, that wasn't good. Just, just do it. Come on. We need this party to be a success. For the love of God. Uh, please, please have a good party. It doesn't really matter. Uh, he's chased it into the bathroom. I was thinking of putting a second bathroom. The only place you could put it is next to this bathroom. <laughs> we might do that anyway, but, but who knows. BJ Ryan, how are you? Would you like to... Would you like to hug? Apparently, they like doing things together. Like, they're sitting on the couch and now they're watching TV together. That gets the party score up. And, uh... I don't know if you heard that, but there was just some thunder, which was pretty cool. They should be loving this this over here. Apparently, they it's still a bit of a sneezer, but whatever. Maybe you should have a toast. Can you can you toast? Management. Maybe you can restock. No. Uh, let's have a toast and see if everyone is is down for that. Down for the toast. Um, I've moved things around, by the way. You, you probably, probably tell. toast with toast to your wife who isn't out of her pajamas. That's that's a good enough reason to celebrate, I guess. Everyone's gonna get drunk, and uh, it's gonna be great. I guess an anniversary toast. You should, you should do that. On your anniversary. Uh, if I was married for like a billion years, I'd, I'd probably do it. Um, another point. Uh, basically, oh, I wish you would. I uh, get it. Both of these guys could get out of the underwear. Maybe that's why the party's not great. Everyone's in here having a good time. Let's all dance. Do it. Um, do, do some dance. <laughs> there we go. BJ, come on, man. Let's get down to to, to the hip, hippity hops and um and and wrap 50, 50 cent. Uh, oh well, they they having a good time. Why is everyone like being a shit? She's having a bath. That's I don't know. I guess I guess there's always like someone at a party who, who has to get naked, and and that's you. Um, do you guys just want to dance? Dance together. Come on, do it. It's a party. We're celebrating our anniversary. Also, I made her retired. Oh, they, they hated that. Uh, maybe you can hug. Oh, they like that. Do you want to come to the party? Whatever the hell your name was. Uh, maybe we can get it just... If we can elevate it up from snoozer, that'd be good. I think it's been a great party so far. It hasn't lasted long. Just like five minutes, but I had a good time. Uh, entertain. Tell, tell a joke. Come on, 30 seconds left. She is pissed off about all the water. Well, maybe you shouldn't have had a bath in a broken bathtub. Uh, did you think about that? No? Obviously not. 
Well, that's not gonna help at all. Uh, can you answer the phone, maybe? Yeah, that'd be good, thanks. Um, okay, well, it looks like the party was a complete failure. Oh, I forgot to invite that guy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And now he's clipping through the table, which isn't the best. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Over. Uh, that wasn't, really wasn't a very enjoyable anniversary party. Uh, well, I don't care. Um, <laughs> at least he got his, his thing. Oh, that's going to be, um, had a lousy anniversary party. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Okay, there is a point that should be raised. Um, now that we have these two who are fully consenting adults who are old enough to do whatever. Uh, it pains me to say it, but these old guys, there's really, <laughs> there's really no point in these guys. Like, there's nothing really they can do. Okay, I'll just say that. There's nothing they can do at this point. Uh, it's not my fault, but uh, they are retired and they are bringing us a lot of money. So I'm not going to kill them, okay? <laughs> it would be a shame for like for them to go out now, because they've only, only he's had that near-death experience when he was fucking around with that computer and he nearly died. And that was it. But basically, we're just going to leave them to their own devices, I guess. And they're just going to like hang around and do whatever they want. I'm just gonna leave them alone. Um, these two on the other hand, um, I'm thinking what we should do is, if we never even ran the flower shop for one day, but I think what we should do is make a hairdresser's. That'd be cool. We can, we can change this place around. Like we're not actually, I like the design of this place and so we're not gonna change too many things, but I think you are gonna be a hairdresser and uh, Look at all this shit. We can probably just sell that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, we're selling all this shit. You are going to be the hairdresser, and I think uh, Frank is going to be your lovely assistant or whatever. And you can quit your job as a top secret researcher, and then you can, like, leak all the secrets, like, um, that guy. What's his name? Edward Snowden. That's basically you. You're going to, uh, reveal to the world, uh, how to make, like, really bad strains of the flu and basically kill everyone. No, don't do that. Just just be a hairdresser, okay? Don't please please don't kill everyone. How far up the, the tree is that? I thought we could get no we can't. We can't get the special bonus, but anyway, let's turn this place into a hairdresser's. Good stuff. Alright, let's do it. Let's open open business. Sims open for business. Uh can't really remember how this works, but I remember like the business thing like being super fun. Uh also, uh, Meadow, like, couldn't be bothered getting changed out of her, her pajamas, no matter how much I tried to make her. That's fine. Look, I'm just gonna, everyone's gonna be really impressed with, like, their cool, laid-back attitude. Um, I also, I've already set, uh, the price, so these haircuts are gonna be cheap. Um, I think that'll be fine. Uh, and if you can hear a cat meowing, uh, it's just my cat meowing. Uh, <laughs> you really need some attention right now. Uh, even though I've been patting him. And uh, he's now actually climbed onto my desk and onto my keyboard, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> and opened up the options menu. It's fine. Um, <laughs> hey, come in. Shelby. Come, come, get get a cool haircut. Uh, do, do I have to, like, sell it to you? Do I have to... There's something... Yes, yeah, sales. No. Uh, no. Okay. Well, she's in our house for some reason. And so is that guy. Um, can you guys get the hell out? Uh, need to pay our bills. No, don't worry about that. Oh, maybe we have to do this. Oops, hang on. Hang on. I've got to lock this door for household and employees only. There we go. Otherwise, at the moment, everyone's just like running around. Um, she's, she's gotten bored of waiting. Uh, offer makeover to... No. Come on. This is not going well at all. You're gonna have to be the style. Oh, maybe I have to go. Okay, so she wants to buy these flowers, which is we also gonna sell some flowers, I guess. Uh, how do we. How do I make you buy these? Do it. Sales? Maybe. Basic sell. There we go. I did it. I am the fiduciary master. 
She's looking, she really wants to buy these flowers, but flowers at the moment are only like a secondary thing, because like, I can't remember how to do that. Uh, we're out of flowers now, but maybe, okay, we don't have any flowers. Maybe we will stop selling flowers. Ah, okay, and now we bring up these customers. There we go. We sold these flowers. I'm not going to bother... Maybe. Maybe we'll get um, Michelle to like make a shitload of flowers. Also, it looks like she's pregnant. <laughs> uh, not the best working while you're pregnant, but... Uh, in, in real life, I wouldn't make someone work while they're pregnant, but... Uh... Oh, okay. Well, now she's just gone over there, even though you're about to get a sale. Uh, offer makeover to... What's this dude's name? Rodney. Maybe we have to do that. Rodney, would you like a, a sweet makeover? Yes! This is the first simoleon earned by Brian from the Grimes Manor. Oh yeah, that's our house. I forgot about that. Uh, it has been placed in Brian's inventory. Uh, okay, kiss. That was nice. Um, propose... Maybe you should offer makeover to him again. Uh, this this business thing that, ev that everyone just keeps getting distracted by this thing. Everyone in the entire house gets distracted by this thing. I'm gonna fucking delete it. What the hell? Go. No. Go. Maybe. Please, please let me give you a makeover. Please, I need this. Please. Uh, higher. <laughs> no, don't do that. She's really hungry. Maybe. Uh, just close the business for now. Right, this is not working. Uh, get the hell out of here, you bastards. Well, that was fun, I guess. I guess, uh, while she's, um, pregnant, she's not really going to want to, uh, be cutting too many people's hair. Which is fine, which is understandable. Maybe we can go back to the flower shop idea. Or, um, I think they still have, like, a shitload of toys. But I, from what I remember, oh, um, look at all this leftover shit. Pork chops. If I was pregnant, I'd want to eat some damn pork chops. I'm not pregnant, and I still want to eat some. Um, there you go. What can this second aspiration be? Uh, knowledge, I guess. Grilled cheese sandwich. That's that's my aspiration. Uh, okay, <laughs> great. Um, they get like, don't they get like the their first dollar? Here it is. First simoleon. We can put this up and display it proudly that we sold some awesome flowers. Uh, that's that's very nice. Out of state daisies. Uh, get the hell off. I'm deleting it. Fuck it. <laughs> you can find fun some other way. But this is basically crack at the moment. Like, it is too addictive. Everyone just cannot concentrate. Uh, <laughs> Michelle, I think you should make many daisy bouquets and we can be a, a florist. That'd be cool. I mean, that kind of works. A florist and, and a hairdresser. Uh, maybe, like, if you're going to go and, like, see see your mum and uh, you want a good haircut and then you also want to give her, like, a present, that is when the Grimes family flowers will serve you the best. See? See? Um, Daisy Bouquet. Let's call it Daisy... Uh, Bu Buchanan. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. And then you can... Can you restock that with that? I think there's also a badge for restocking, which is annoying. And, like, restocking is, like, super hard. I still don't know why a dog, like, cannot understand the basic concept of eating. Uh, also, you should quit your job. Um, how do we do that? Quit job. Maybe... Mm, if we make like an off an off site business, that might work out all right. It's just that it takes time maybe getting back and forth. That's okay. Um, at the moment, like we're getting six hundred dollars from her and three hundred twenty five dollars from him, which is pretty good. Like there you go. As as I say that. Oh look. Uh, she's she's pregnant. I think. Is that? I think that's supposed to be like. A transition into pregnancy. With a little one on the way, my has been placed on maternity leave. You're gonna just quit your job anyway, because like fuck being a top top secret researcher or whatever. Um, okay. <laughs> uh I think maybe it might be a good idea to make like an off site 
she missed work. She's pregnant. What the hell? Get out of here. Um, maybe make like a, a store and a community lot. I don't know. Um, would you like to quit? I would, except the mouse is now screwed up. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, stuck in view mode, and I can't get out. So, um, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.